Concerned Ape has done it again. A man who promised 1.6 to just be a quality of life for modders patch ended up being something so much more. He released a teaser and it showed a long list of new items and objects and things and events and everything. And I did cover that already on stream. But one thing I wanted to point out was in the bottom left of the teaser, which I totally thought was tropical trees, turns out to not be that. And they look like more swamp trees as most of the communities pointed out already. So hope you enjoy. Can you guys see this? All right. Okay, let's go through this really quick. Oh, there's two new mini festivals and a major festival. Do we know about the two minis? Interesting. My hunch for this one is that it's the, um, I think the major festival is, uh, the island, the Joja Island thingy. And then the two mini festivals, I have it on good authority. One of them involves racing and the other one is like, it's kind of like, uh, what is it? Spartacus or whatever. Basically two contestants enter a small dome and, uh, they choose a weapon and they kill each other to death. That's what they're adding. Uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, for time out, first of all, by the way, CA said this patch was going to be small and it was going to be quality of life for speedrunners and quality of life fixes. Like, what? Hello? Interesting. New late game content which expands on each of the skill areas. Dude, maybe they'll finally make foraging actually good. Interesting. That could be cool. Uh new items and crafting recipes i'm really curious about this right here i wonder if this is a better version of like coffee because that would make sense because it's he's already made two coffees regular coffee right and then triple coffee which lasts fairly long i wonder if this is like an all-day coffee kind of thing but it's like uh like a key coffee or something yeah, maybe it's like Iridium Coffee or something, some variation like that. Or maybe he does like Boba and it makes you run fast. I feel like it's a movement speed thing. And then the thing on the right looks like a, a quiver of some kind. So maybe that's for like your slingshot or something. Maybe you have it on you. And it like gives you potential chance to refund your slingshot, which would be kind of nasty. That'd be cool. Um, and this I'm really, oops, this I'm really curious about actually. The totem? Like, what the hell could this be for? This is obviously some kind of luck-related thing. And because it's a star and it's green. Green usually is correlated with luck. And, uh... I said so. I don't know what this is. This looks like bullets. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> Jojo alternative to some of the endgame quests. 100 new lines of dialogue. This must just be because of Joja, Joja Island. I think that's why. It's still cool though. There's a ticket here, which is curious. And then there's a box and there's a homeless guy drinking coffee. That must be just like CA's guy in the game or something. New type of reward for completing billboard requests. Fascinating. I don't know if, which billboard that's referring to. The one at the bottom or the one, probably the one at the bottom. If I had to guess. This is wild. By the way. This is actually wild. Eight player multiplayer is built in now. <laughs> That's weird. That's a lot of people, man. That's a lot of people. Many small additions and adjustments. The quality of life things that CA said that he was going to do a long time ago because 1.6 was based off of quality of life and small changes. And then he's just decided to dip his toe into being quirky, I guess. The new farm type sounds kind of cool. Maybe it's island related. Oh, that'd be cool. That would kind of make sense, too. Maybe you can do like... Maybe you get like a smaller version of the island that you unlock as a farm so you can grow crops of any kind but on a smaller scale that would be neat i'd like that that'd be really cool actually and then new secrets and more stuff that's pretty sick dude this is a uh, that's really interesting 
I'm so curious about this thing right here, this green, I don't actually think it's luck related because we already have one. It's probably crop related if I had to guess. Uh, this, this totem, I don't know what it could be. I'm at a loss of what this totem is. This, this is so fascinating. And then we have fish guy. I think this is a reference to a game, isn't it? Isn't, didn't a game come out where like there's a fish tank that had legs? This is obviously the living hat, but there's a potato on it. It's pretty cool. What is this guy though? What could this possibly be? Maybe the like maybe inside the witch hut or maybe it places you in between the witch hut and the wizard place. That could be okay. That could be cool. This is Sebastian. <laughs> oh, and they have the new winter clo clothing. I think I skipped that. That's pretty sick. I like that. This is dumb, but for me personally, since I've played this game a lot and I'm sure everybody can agree. I like when there's little changes like that, even if it's small, like, sure, you go to summer, maybe, maybe the guys are walking around shirtless or something, you know, it's just a cool little change, it's fine. Winter, they have some nice, cozy clothes, pretty cool, something, just something different, you know. Still, though, pretty cool. I'm really curious about this guy right here, actually, most of it, obviously, but, like, what are these? What are those? What the hell is this? I just want to know. <laughs> oh, it sends you to the haunted chocolatier. That would make sense as to why he's like smiling and he's happy. Because he's chewing chocolate. That makes sense. Yeah. Pretty cool though. I like it, dude. 